Hello everyone, Lau here. Welcome back to my channel and welcome back to Vlogmas. Day 19. <sighs> so tomorrow we have the number 20, which always like when I was a child, this was like, oh, we're already in the 20th. So that means it's just like a couple of days because the 24th is, is like the main day here. So, and we're already at 19. So that means like less than a week and it's getting now like it's, it's going you now so far far fast and um, yeah time for opening up the calendars so let's see what Disney pin is in stock for today so where is the 19 right here in the middle golden pouch and what is it I think it could be one of the shoes because it's really long and let's see. Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, that looks amazing. This is Captain Hook. So right in the middle here you can see. I love that design with the hook as the um, heel. And then his jabot here in the front and his feathers, so his head, everything's included. And we have another male villain, so Captain Hook. <laughs> uh, yeah, one, one, one of the classic movies and the classic villains and I liked him, I liked the movie when I was a child. I distinctly remember that we often had to go to the, uh, what is it called, videotheek, where you uh, borrow video cassettes, where you just get them and uh, return them back again. I don't know, and I always wanted to get um, Peter Pan back then. <laughs> Every single time we went there, we had to uh, get Peter Pan. <laughs> yeah, really pleased with that, and I think, I, yeah, I really like the design. Maybe it's my second favorite after the Snow White one. So the Evil Queen, not Snow White herself. <laughs> yeah. Wow, very crowded already. But I'm determined to fit everything on here. So the last years it also worked out. So let's get to my small um, toy advent calendar. Let's see what I have in one of, here it is, in the number 19. Will it be a brush or will it be other accessory or will it be stickers or will it be, what is it? Oh, it's something, uh, some combs. Ah, some G1 My Little Pony combs. So yeah, I definitely have to research now which ones these uh, go to and then I return to you. Okay, so let's start with a simple um, purple one. one. One of the original combs. So just normal, um, uh, also it's not concave here, so it's not, not an Italy comb, so this part here, this is more rounded like this, if it would be a little bit in that direction, like this here, then you could see that's probably one from Italy, but it doesn't look like this. And there are a lot of ponies that had a purple comb like this. For example, cotton candy. But mine is Italian cotton candy, so probably not very likely that it came directly with it. But normal cotton candy, first released pony, had this purple comb. Then Moonstone. Uh, as this is the German Moonstone, she also, I think, came with a different comb, but... Here is the glittery version Moonstone, so she definitely also came with this color of comb. Um, the uh, the Rainbow Ponies the Rainbow Ponies always came with um, this comb, or like this style of comb, and also with a brush, with a shooting star brush, so this is not the only comb that she came with. And also Starshine 
had one of, of um, these in purple, but it's very difficult to identify. And there are other shades of uh, purple, so it could have very well also come with vanilla trees or so many other ponies. So I cannot, I cannot grab all of them and I do not have all of them. Now with this one, I'm pretty sure it actually it came with Moon Jumper. I have Moon Jumper. I don't want to show uh, him her <laughs> to you because I have not rehaired her yet, and she still has not her wings back. I have had I have worked on her all a little bit, so the part at her back where the wings go in. So she's one of the butterflies, so one of the winger ponies. Um, I have removed that. It was so difficult. I was over almost like um, stressing out that I would rip her apart or something and then I left her and then that's why at this stage she's still so I don't want to show her to you again because it's really a shame um, so I think but similar shades also came with dancing butterflies for example so it's also could also be that one because it's so difficult you know with the shades of gums which one it really is or for example uh, sugar berry also had a pink one so um, and there are more shades of pink but I think this is the lightest and so I guess it's actually for um, yeah, for uh, Moon Jumper. But for example, if I would do a pony showcase video of the Twice as Fancy Pony, I would totally use this comb to show you and I would just call like say, with, yeah, maybe she would have come with one that's a little bit darker pink or something. Because that's why I'm really slow and getting out new um, my little pony showcase videos where I show you one set. Um, because I want to show you at least somehow what they came with, you know, with which combs and with which barrettes or whatever. At least I have a style of, of, of comb and, and that similar color or something. I don't want to just show you the ponies. That's why it's taking me so long. Uh, for example, people have asked me, could you do a um, pony showcase of your uh, flatter ponies? Well, I just have two flutter pony combs. That's everything I own, so I cannot show you the set yet because there's so many accessories missing. Um, I need to get some more of those before I can do that. So that's also why I'm very happy uh, to get more and more of the pony accessories. So and now from My Little Pony, let's jump into uh, the kind of the main part of the video where I want to show you three more advertisement magazines. These three, uh, they are German advertisement magazines from probably Mattel, although it doesn't say Mattel on it directly. So you will see lots of these uh, PJ Sparkle things. There's also Polly Pocket in there and some other fun stuff. So have fun with that. And uh, from this perspective here, see you tomorrow. Bye. So, hello everyone. Yeah, today I want to show you these three advertisement magazines and I found that quite fitting because as you can already see they feature, you know, more babyish dolls, so uh, not Barbies and not, not keepers or ponies or anything and um, yeah, I've let lately, <laughs> so actually I think uh, yesterday's video probably, depending on the order that I um, put it out, but uh, the last flea market hunt, you saw that I found um, a Little Miss or a uh, doll from the PJ Sparkles line and some of the stuff is in here. So uh, I thought this is a good idea to show you these advertisement magazines. They're from Germany because I'm from Germany. Uh, they're called Mädchen Aktuell, which means uh, girls like current, I don't know, different, difficult, like girls and actuelle is like something current that's happening right now. So um, they are from uh, 1991 and 1992. So this is um, um, autumn and winter 91 and this is summer, spring, summer 92 and then uh, uh, autumn and winter 92. So they are one after the other released. And it does not say which toy company the um, were, like put put them out, but to me it's uh, crystal clear that this is from Mattel because all the toys in there are by Mattel. I don't know what does it say. Here is the Mattel advertisement at the back, but other than that, it's really just um, as if this would be a nice little magazine that um, girls could read because there are also stories in there. But 
all of the stuff that's featured is toys by Mattel <laughs> that were released during that uh, era and um, yeah let's just start at the cover you can see one of the um, dolls from the PJ Sparkles line uh, the interesting thing and you can see that directly it says baby twinkles well this is baby sparkles in English but all of the um, PJ Sparkles dolls in German were called Twinkle, so PJ Twinkle and Baby Twinkle. I don't know why they changed the sparkle to twinkle because it's actually isn't this is an English word again? <laughs> I don't know, but let's start here. Here you can see a little bit of stuff that's in there. You will see some Polly Pocket, you will see Baby Twinkles, uh, so Baby Sparkles, some Magic Nursery, a little bit of Little Miss, and some other stuff some other stuff. Here you can see the Baby Twinkles doll. This is actually the third big doll for uh, the PJ Sparkles line, which is more in line of a baby. The others, so the PJ Sparkle and the um, um, Starbright Sparkle are more, they are still kind of the same size, but they're not really meant to be a baby. They're wearing like dresses and they are more princesses instead of really the baby with a jumpsuit, so. but. Um, this, are oh, you, you can see, this is the actual, the first released PJ Sparkle or PJ Twinkle <laughs> in German, I don't know. Um, she had this gorgeous big bow and this would light up and the earrings and this uh, heart at the chest that also the baby has. And um, here you can see her with a short dress, but this is actually the same one that can be like pulled longer because it's just a... Um, there's just a, a elastic in there and you can pull it down that it is kind of a long dress so like a nightgown and you can see she's more meant to be a little girl and this is more meant to be really a baby I think her crown lit up and then obviously also her heart here and she came with baby bottle super sweet here's a little bit of a story about them mm, not gonna read that <laughs> And here you can see Polly Pocket. Yeah, I mean Polly Pocket is actually done by Bluebird Toys. That's the company that's always printed at the back. But from very from the very early uh, on, Mattel actually was the distributor for Polly Pocket in most other countries. I think it could be that in the UK, um, really Bluebird also did the marketing, etc. But uh, worldwide, I mean, I'm from Germany, so Germany is not even far away from the UK. Uh, still Mattel did it. And here you can see some of the early Polly Pockets. We've got Mr. Fry's restaurant, some of the early rings. We have the ring case. So this was a, a long Polly Pocket case, a see-through um, like top, and you could collect all your rings in there. So the Polly Pocket rings always consisted of one of these, uh, well, a ring, <laughs> plastic ring with a platform, and then you could um, put like uh, the special thing on or sometimes uh, even the doll separately to, to, to the ring and the special thing for example a bathtub, a ring and a poly pocket or they just snapped in with a poly pocket and the ring. And some of them came separately like these, some of them came in compacts. Here you can see some more of the um, early compacts, some other of the flower shaped ones, here's the um, which is, oh my goodness, mm, the, the flower shop, Mitch's flower shop. Uh, here, for example, is Polly School. And here we can see the High Street Money Box. And, oh yeah, this was also a thing. There were also Polly Pocket dolls released in these little see-through containers, like necklaces. Oh, even more Polly Pocket. So this is all of the early uh, ones. We are in 1991, so um, most of these have the date stamp of also 90 and um, yeah, these are 90. Not exactly sure all of them, but these are the early ones. This is one that I really love. This was a case that you could really fold open, you can see that. And it had um, uh, really school utensils in there, so a ruler and um, pencil and pencil sharpener and uh, even some some um, paper for for letter writing um, lovely really big one to collect and uh, if you want it in with some of the pieces intact then it can get really expensive um, 
Here is the pencil case. I also have that one. So this one actually also obviously came with a pencil sharpener and I don't know if that's a... I don't know what that is, but <laughs> something else. Uh, I also just have it empty. Well, with some dolls. But isn't that amazing? <laughs> I mean, this is not really something that you would take to school, right? Because in, at school you would not write letters. But in general, if this was really your pencil case, then, then you would really be uh, completely distracted from school. <laughs> Here we have the um, soap box or the soap um, case. This is like one of the strangest things in my opinion. You can see, you can put it at the edge of your like bathtub and um, then you could put your soap over there and there's a little slide and some little pieces. But isn't that the strangest thing that you would put these super teeny tiny poly dolls with soap and with water <laughs> uh, somewhere that where they could easily slip down and then they could um, disappear in the water and who knows where. I don't know if that's the best idea. Uh, I've never seen that one for sale. But you can see here, here it is. This is, uh, I have seen that sometimes. Um, uh, you have to, ex excuse me, I, I don't know all of these names. I always just prepare myself when I when I buy them and then I do the poly pocket hauls and I have everything memorized. But this is one of the cases where it's like a big street down and you can also open it up and store things. So it's, it's, it's really more like this size. Here are two of the um, small compacts again. We have, um, this is Polly's house, I think, or this. <laughs> um, yeah, this is something really special because this is the um, um, bowling alley cassette player. I've never ever <laughs> seen that one for sale. Um, and I would be really curious if that if someone sells it if it is still in a working condition because you can see there's a big It's again really big folds up into a big poly pocket like house with uh, different um, stages here and a Flat part. This is like the bowling alley. I mean you could play it like this And if you fold that up there are cassette tapes you can really it plays music. So it's a cassette player uh, That's kind of crazy Aha, we have got Magic Nursery. These are a doll line. Um, their feature was that when you would buy them, you would not know if they are a boy or a girl. And um, when you put, here's, it's, it's really shown here, it's water. And if you put their clothes in water, uh, they would kind of, I don't know what exactly would happen to them, but then you would, could see if they are, uh, if you got a boy or a girl, so depending on which one would get a dress or more a uh, like jumpsuit thing and uh, they were released in these really super small babies with just a tuft of hair or no hair here you can see also there are some with more hair and if there's another page yeah here's another page so these are supposed to be older dolls um, yeah you, you can see that this isn't really not the thing that I enjoy uh, I have found two uh, Magic Nursery dolls in the toy store, so Onkel Philipp's Spielzeugwerkstatt. Uh, like in the last, uh, I can link that here or here. <laughs> um, and I've not picked them up, so I, I left them there. Their faces are cute, but the whole thing is, is just not mine. This is more right up my alley. This is Jerry Mary Muffin! Yay! This is the, the second Cherry Mary Muffin set. You can see that this is the second Cherry Mary Muffin herself, the one with the crept, uh, crept, crimped hair. I have her, I also have her with the hat. She's amazing. I think I'm missing the apron now. And here you can see the Cherry Mary Muffin uh, play sets. I do not, I, I mean, I have a Cherry Mary Muffin mini play set, uh, which is cute, but uh, they are made for the smaller ones. These are the normal sized Cherry Mary Muffin dolls and they came with play sets that looked like uh, uh, sentient beings <laughs> because they have faces and everything. So it's a, it's a cake, but it also has arms and legs and a face. They are not my favorite play sets, to be honest. It's okay, once at a flea market I found uh, the, I don't know what it was, the refrigerator, no, it was something else. 
and I did not buy it because I was a stupid and didn't know I would probably now pick it up at flea markets but yeah. this is one of the dolls that I'm missing this is Lily Vanilli and the ones from the second set are definitely more difficult to find over here especially because I want them with their heads <sighs> yeah uh, there is a, a third set which I think was never released in, in Europe uh, those are extremely hard to find but even those ones so this is one of the second set she's also really hard to find uh, they were scented and they were so cute really love the vibe of cherry Mary muffin yeah. do you recognize her if you've seen my last video then you will recognize her because this is little miss magic hair and she was directly called like this miss magic hair I mean maybe in German they like did not take over the lil because this is something that maybe children would not understand so it's just miss magic hair um, yeah here you can see this is actually the skirt that she was wearing black belt kind of a big like buckle and then this roughly skirt with as I said these like neon eight, late 80s early 90s vibes love it and here you can see her green shoes and you can directly see the feature that she came with so she had this kind of a brush thing uh, you would I think you would load it up with hot or cold water I think cold probably <laughs> and she had some other tools because her hair changes uh, with uh, warm water or warm warms uh, to um, to blonde and if you apply cold then she gets the colors again so here you can see you could kind of stamp um, patterns in it with these hearts or the other way around really fun feature and my still works really well so this this hair quality is also really good um, yeah, I don't know really what that is I mean she's called Freudentränchen so it's something like uh, tears baby tears or something because she can uh, she can um, uh, cry <laughs> cry yeah she can cry so she can probably be somehow eat it or I don't know what with water and then she could cry but this is kind of the doll that I'm really not into because this is a baby doll um, this is also a baby doll but she goes into a line that the feature is not just being nursed and being a baby it's sparkle and you know, light up functions etc um, this yeah also I've never heard of this before so it's I think it's nothing that really the pastel 90s, 80s girls toy collectors are into. And at the back you can just see something pop ball. So it's a game that you would play. Let's continue here. Mädchen aktuell, spring summer 1992. So Little, little Miss Singing Mermaid at the front, at the cover. And more Little Miss stuff, also Twinkles, so Sparkle PJ. We have got more music, Magic Nursery and some Polly Pocket. Oops. Uh, and it starts here with a story about what oh, she was called, the Little Miss. Anyways, about the Little Miss um, singing, Little Miss singing Mermaid. And here you can see her in her full glory probably even better than just out of the box curly bangs full o all over curly and um, this little ruffle around her shoulders kind of the same material that I love with Barbies <laughs> but um, even here she looks different again can you see that so here her hair is really curly from the top and here her hair is straight at first and then gets curly so I think this is more what she looked out of the box than at this. She she really has a, a super super cute face and I mean this is something really special that they came up with not just doing smaller dolls uh, with mermaid tails but really doing one of these big dolls with a mermaid tail. And she can sing, I have her, I also found her at the market twice. By the way, no I have not forgotten about your um, um, giveaway I have all the stuff that I want to give you <laughs> that I want to put out but with all this craziness of uh, vlogmas and um, me trying to do a video every single day and also putting up uh, the other videos beforehand etc I've just not gotten around to 
either to plan the giveaway, I don't know really how I want to do that, and also some of the stuff is not yet um, cleaned really, so it's, it's just... And let's, guys, let's just do this in January or February. <laughs> I, 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 I can't at the moment. Yep, more Lil Miss, and these are actually the wee Lil Miss. I don't know um, how how they they uh, translated that. If maybe these were just called Lil Miss, but these are not the big like big dolls. They are around like this size, so maybe twenty-five centimeters or something, twenty centimeters, something like that. And we've got the Lil Miss uh, wee Lil Miss ballerina. A wee little miss rock and roll and wee little miss I don't know what she's called but her feature is that she can um, close her eyes I mean not really but uh, all of them are also um, you can activate and deactivate I think their makeup with hot and cold water with her also the straps on the on the, so the ballerina shoe straps on the uh, legs are appearing and disappearing with hot and cold water and uh, with her it's definitely her makeup and with her her whole eyes are disappearing i don't know if you can see that so it would really look as if she has closed eyes uh, as i said i have one of them i have this i have the little miss um wee little miss ballerina but I only have her skirt and nothing else, so she's kind of naked and yeah, I, I, I have no uh, space right now to display her, so she's sometimes everywhere and nowhere in my collection. Um, yeah, it's, it's just sad that I just have her, her um, bottom skirt. Ah, you can see a little bit more, so there were also play sets for them apparently, but Vanity something like this so they are really uh, they they also had fashion packs i know that so there were a little little more like um i um, dress up so a fashion doll but also with special features and not as much a fashion doll as for example barbie and obviously in this cutesy little miss optic uh here is little miss uh, magic Harrigan. we have just seen them in the other magazine um no no special things to talk about her but you can see another picture of her here there she is if you have seen my last video then you know that i found her i found her at flea market this is star bright uh, sparkles or star bright twinkles in german um here you can see her in her full glory so mine is basically also missing everything but i'm glad she has like her top still and I mean, she cannot lose her crown because it's it's uh, built into her head. Um, but she's missing the skirt. Here you can see the poofy skirt, the tulle skirt with some polka dots. There is a pink bow in the front. She has these late, late, lace <laughs> lace um, leggings here, frilly lace socks and these shoes. And of course her hair here is done in a really beautiful way, but this is also done for the magazine. So. Out of the box, maybe she does, did not look exactly like this. And here you can see the other two again. So these are the three big ones of the um, PJ Sparkles line. Uh, PJ Sparkles had other stuff. They had these soft dolls or some um, um, some plushies. But yeah, these are the three big um, dolls. Oh, here's the Magic Nursery again. But here we have the Magic Nursery pets. They are amazing. They are so cute. They also have these like rubber faces, like like a doll, but the rest is um, like plush. And oh, they also had the same feature as you would not know what they are uh, before you would really unpack them and then uh, find out. But here it's not about which gender they are. Here it's about what animal they are. I think um, the eyes would be like rolled up or somehow in there and. Uh, just after you get them out of the box, you uh, could find out if it's a bunny, I think a cat, a bear. I'm not sure if there was something else, maybe a dog as well, because they show four here. Yeah, it says, so a bunny, a bear, a dog, 
and a cat. So that could be either one of them it in all of the color combinations. So here we can see how, how it looks. This is a, a bunny then from the Magic Nursery Pets. And as well, you had to put the clothes in the water and then you would, could find out everything about this cute little um, plushie. Here you can see again the Magic Nursery dolls. Mm, but the Magic Nursery pets are way cuter because, I don't know, I just don't, don't like them this much. Concerning their hand and, 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 and legs and everything, they remind me a little bit of, um, of Cabbage Patch. Maybe that's why I'm, I'm, I don't like them. But these, oh, these colors and these cute faces, amazing. Polly Pocket! And here we can see some of the uh, Polly Pocket accessories, some of the jewelry. Uh, they had these lovely ear earrings, so more ear clips, because they were obviously they, they did not require um, holes in the ears for the children, they're just clips. I think this is a hair bow or um, you know, a barrette, barrette. These are also clip on earrings, they come in this. Um, this compact that looks like a leaf from the outside. You sometimes see that. That's not one of the rarest. So the, this is out there. Not cheap, especially if you want to have it with all of the earrings, but I've seen that. These though, these long here hanging earrings, mm, I would say not that easy to get. And although these are the, just the small accessories, very thought after, very expensive. Um, if I would have these, I would for sure wear them, at least in my videos. Maybe not outside because I would be afraid to lose them, but like, yeah, I just bought myself these to have something to wear for Polly Pocket, but I don't own any of the like real accessories. You can see some more play sets, so here's uh, Suki's Tea House, for example, here's Phoebe's Parisian Apartment, this is the Alpine Chatlet, this is the... Oh, oh. Uh, the beach, I don't know exactly what the name is here right now. And again with the high street money box, some rings and the ring collector's case. And here is the, um, what is it actually called in English? Uh, I will put the name in uh, da -da, with, with the uh, writing paper, so sort the of letter paper and um, the you know, the utensils for, for writing and drawing and everything. So there were also pencil toppers with these glass domes and with Polly Pockets in there. And more Polly Pocket pencils. <laughs> I wonder if they, maybe one of them came directly with the pencil case. Here is the soap uh, box again and some of the glass dome uh, necklaces. Necklace. And some poly dolls here. I love this, love this page. Uh, yeah. I don't know why David has loves there, but he was he was probably very famous back then. And um, so this is the last one. The cover shows a doll that I'm not familiar with, other than that I have her at this cover here. She's called um, Rollerblade Baby. I know that there, uh, there's a doll called California Rollerblade something something, but she's I think not from Mattel, she's from a different company, maybe Galoop, uh, I'm not sure, um, but I didn't know, I've uh, never seen this doll, neither for sale nor in any, uh, on, on Instagram or in any video or anything, um, but apparently at that time she was out next to the little Miss Singing Mermaid and PJ Sparkles and, and little, uh, other little Miss etc. that we had because this is just uh, half a year later than the last magazine. So we're in uh, autumn winter 1992 and there was baby Rollerblade. Okay, she was a baby doll that <laughs> was able to Rollerblade around. Um, here she is again. Face-wise she she's okay. Her face um, looks in line with a little bit like Little Miss and those, so cute enough for me. If I would find her at a, at a flea market, I would probably pick her up. Um, yeah, but she's, I don't know, <laughs> a little bit strange. 
and also the mishmash of, of uh, patterns here is a little bit too much. But then again, she's probably very neon and it would look probably really cool. And here's the little missing mermaid again. So I think it's even the same picture that we had, the this, this small picture in the other magazine. I mean, yeah, they're giving stories here. Little Miss Magic uh, Singing Mermaid is missing or something. It's a story here. And here we have the same picture of uh, Little Miss Magic here again. And the smaller one, so the wee Little Miss. Ah, here you can see that a little bit better concerning the makeup. So you could um, use this um, cloth here. And then with this, uh, her eye paint would kind of disappear and she would look like she's sleeping. She also had like roller blades, so she rolled something. Um, and yeah, the ballerina one. And here she is again, Star Bright Twinkles. Yeah, Star Bright Twinkles. Star Bright Sparkles in English. Here you can see her sparkle, lovely picture. Shoes, the heart, the earrings, and the crown, and she's projecting that amazing image uh, to the wall. Yeah, she was actually also released with a star. I think it's like a necklace and maybe there was even something more to it and the children could look through this to the ceiling where the kaleidoscope thing is. I, I, I don't know, I don't have that so I cannot really check out how, how that changes. And here are the magic nursery pets again. Uh, here you can see, I think, not, not all of them, not sure, but this is definitely the cat. Here is the bunny. This is probably the bear, and, but I think there's another bunny, so we don't know what the dog looks like. Or one of them is the dog, um, I don't know. I think the mint green one and the pink one, they look the cutest, the light pink one. Oh, what's that? Uh, this is, they are called Popcorn Kids. I think uh, the English, um, the original name is Popcorn Pretties. They are a little bit similar to the um, to the Tonka Cupcakes as they, you, you could close them in um, here and um, then they just look like popcorn. But, uh, honestly, I don't think that that looks like popcorn, but okay. <laughs> uh, I accept that, it should be popcorn. And then you could open them. So, and then there's a doll uh, coming out of that. But the special feature is that they would then jump. So, um, and of course they were way smaller, so they were more round, I don't know. More this size or something. And then, whoop. So if you would put them together and then whoop, they would flop up. So that's why they are jumping here from there. I, I, I've never had one in my hands, but that's what I've seen online. <laughs> so the popcorn pretties or popcorn kids. Pocket again. So more of the rings. Some of them we have seen, but we're still in the early stages of Polly Pocket. Oh, isn't that cute? These are like barrettes and these earrings. Ah, yeah. But to be honest, um, concerning Polly Pocket, me being a Polly Pocket collector, I prefer having uh, really the compacts. They are easier to display, they, they look kind of better. <laughs> I don't know um, how, how I should say that in, in a collection than when you have all of these small things. So sure, I would like to have some of the rings, but do I really need them? Not really. I can live totally without them. The, the jewelry though, I could really use that. So that's why I love it. <laughs> Oh, even more Polly Pocket, and here we have some of. Oh my gosh, here are some of the um, some of the lockets. So these are the really tiny ones, and you could wear them around your neck. And yeah, I mean, these here, these you could also wear them around your neck. They're like a necklace, but they are just a Polly doll. Here you have a full compact, so a little locket compact, and could still wear it as a necklace, but still you had a little world to play with and a Polly Pocket. So this one I have. This Polly in the music room. The other ones, I don't know the names, but here we have uh, several different ones and that makes sense. Uh, this magazine was from 1992. Um, 
they these are have the um, date of 1991 at the back which means they were then probably sold in 1992 so because these ones we had not seen in the other two magazines so they were probably pretty new here at that time same at the ring compacts so yeah the rings fine and okay but i love the ring compacts way more because they have a compact they are these really thick ones they're really thick because they need the depth for the whole ring in there and these are the ones here you can see one empty they have a space for the ring to put in and then the vehicle or the bathtub or the bed this is actually mitch's um bed mitch's bed time for example there you would have three pieces the ring the bed and mitch and the dog so four pieces yeah these all had a little uh, animal also i think most of them um the, the colors are very 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 different um uh, let me let me get this one so this is mitch's bed time Ooh, there's another figurine in there but yeah and if you compare this dark color to this um, I think it's just because of the photograph so the photos look really color intense and too dark in my opinion I don't think that this is something that they were produced differently in other um, colors this is probably really something just um, uh, from from the photo really looks really color intense too much yeah, and here we have uh, some of the normal compacts again, the same ones again, so well, uh, the Alpine Chatlet, then the, I don't know what this is called, the beach something, um, this is Suki's Tea House and Fifi's Parisian Apartment. Oh yeah, 101 Dalmatians. <laughs> uh, the movie actually is from 1966, so way before that, yeah, we are in the early 90s. But some of the Disney movies really got a revival in the early 90s because it was the first time they were put out on VHS. So that's also why I could experience the movie and why I was a fan of 101 Dalmatians. Um, I am obviously for, born in 88 and not in 66, so I did not watch the movie back then in cinema. Some movies even, I think, got re-released in cinema. And I'm not uh, aware which one and what, but I think with movies like 100 World of Dimensions, it was probably because of the VHS that they started then releasing toys again. So here we have the plushies. Same with the Disney uh, dolls during that era. So these are uh, the first Mattel produced Disney dolls. So we have uh, Cinderella, we have uh, Sleeping Beauty and uh, Beauty and the Beast. Beauty and the Beast was really new at that time. So Beauty and the Beast is from 1991. So this was the current movie. This is, by the way, this is so cool because this is Beast, but you could take off his mask, I think, and he has a costume and then he would be Prince Adam. Prince Adam? No, not Prince. Is, it, is he called Adam? I don't know what he's called, but the prince from Beauty and the Beast. I'm just so confused. Prince Adam? Isn't that also He-Man? I don't. Maybe I'm just confusing him. Anyways. But there is another doll underneath uh, the beast face. Uh, and for these other dolls here, obviously Cinderella is from 19... Oh my goodness, 51? If I'm not mistaken. And, um, no, not 50. Maybe, maybe 51, could be. And um, Beauty and the Beast is from 1959, I think. So, so they are definitely way <laughs> released way before that, but these, I think, were the first um, directly um, Barbie-ish, so dress up small dolls by Mattel. I think because they were re released on, on VHS. And that's it. We have Baby Freudentränchen again, so this doll that was like crying here. And here we have them again. So I hope you enjoyed that. I have never showed you them before because I was really like, are you interested? And in, I mean, there's this Polly Pocket stuff in there, sure. But what about these huge dolls here? Is that something that is interesting for you? But as I've now just picked up two of them at the flea market, I thought it was a good time to show you this magazine. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like that, then give it a thumbs up. 
if my comments are open you can also uh, tell me things that I got wrong here because I'm not uh, <laughs> knowing everything and I like uh, when you when you have like more knowledge about things than what I have so if the comments are open please um, comment down below and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet so thank you for watching see you real soon and may the toys be with you bye